In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to maximize your day as an entrepreneur by showing you how I spend mine. My name is Ari Mizell. I'm the creator of the Less Doing Method of Productivity and the author of The Art of Less Doing. And I have four small children. I run a successful seven-figure business in less than three hours a week because I've optimized, automated, and outsourced everything that I do. So nearly two decades ago, I was working in construction on a big real estate development project, living a very unhealthy lifestyle and mainly working 18 hours a day. And when I was 23, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. Crohn's is a chronic inflammatory condition that affects the digestive tract. It's extremely debilitating and considered to be incurable. After a long journey of self-tracking and self-experimentation, I was able to overcome the illness, get off my meds, and go on to compete in Ironman France. And in doing so, created a system of productivity that would allow me to get more done in the one hour a day that I was able to muster with a limited amount of energy that I had. So everything that I have done since then, from books to coaching and speaking and classes, has been about maximizing your time and helping you reclaim it so you can do what you want to do, whatever that may be. So to show you how to maximize your day, I consider myself to be a pretty productive person, so I thought I would share with you what my day looks like. So I start every day at 4.45 in the morning. And I want to clarify that that is not because I'm living up some boot camp military dream or I want to be like the rock. It's because I have four small children and it's the only way that I can get some time to myself by waking up before they do. I'm a big fan of working with the constraints that you have that you cannot change, right? I can't necessarily make them get up later, but I can get up earlier and I can certainly go to bed earlier to achieve that. So I start my day at 4.45 in the morning, at which point I get up and I immediately check my phone. Most people will tell you that's a bad idea. I don't agree. If you know what you're doing and you're productive and you're effective with the systems that you use, then there's no reason why you wouldn't want to. So I check my email, I check Slack, I check Voxer, I check all of my communication methods before I even get on to do my workout for the morning. And usually that takes me a couple minutes, honestly just a couple minutes. And then I start my workout. Now for me, working out is one of two things. Either I'm boxing, and on the days that I am sparring, uh, that is something that I extremely look forward to. It's uh, therapy for me in a lot of ways. But the other days, it's working out on the elliptical machine at home. My wife and I have our own elliptical machine at home that has uh, this program that goes with it. So you put an iPad up and you can take hikes through the Alps and things like that. For some reason that works. Now I work out in the nude. <laughs> it's just something that I get to do because it's five in the morning and I'm by myself and I don't want to waste any clothes. It's just something that I've uh, worked out for myself. I don't think that necessarily makes you more productive, but it's something that I do. Uh, after that, I take a shower, I shave my head and everything else. And then I start getting stuff done in the morning. I start taking some vitamins. I make coffee and breakfast for my wife first, so that that is sitting there and ready. And then I start to prepare lunches and snacks for my kids. Now, all of this is stuff that's getting done before it's even become six in the morning, at which point I make myself a cup of coffee because I don't have breakfast. I am uh, on a program of intermittent fasting. So my first meal is not gonna be until noon in a given day, but I will have myself a cup of coffee. And at that point I have my cup of coffee and I'll sit and I'll read something that's on my phone or finish up checking on some more emails that might've come in because I'm working with people all over the globe. So it's very possible that somebody had responded to me. Once I'm done with that, then I get to just sit with myself in silence until somebody wakes up. And usually that's anywhere from five to 20 minutes. I wouldn't go so far as to call it meditation, but there's something very powerful about being able to be still with yourself and do nothing. Now at that point, the kids start to wake up and I start making breakfast for everybody at that point. Then my wife and I are getting everybody dressed. Putting on eight socks every morning is no small feat to different little people. I have a seven-year-old currently, twin six-year-olds, and a three-and-a-half-year-old. So they're all up. They're all moving around and doing things. And then at about 7.30, I become a chauffeur. And that's when I take my twins and my oldest son to school 
First I take the twins to their school, and then I go and I drive and I drop my son off at his other school, at which point I come back to the house to help get my daughter dressed and take her back to school. So I'm shuttling around quite a bit in the morning. I drop her off by nine o'clock, and that is when my workday starts. Now the workday for me is almost always from nine to 2.30. That is it. I call that my work day. That's when I'm able to take appointments or meetings, but I'm by no means working that entire time. Uh, rarely, if ever, is that entire time work. But typically nine o'clock will be my check-in with my team. Now I do what's called an asynchronous check-in with my team. So we, every day we're on the same page, but we're checking in at different times at the same shared medium. So my team is scattered across the country. We check in, tell them what we're going to be working on today and what our biggest obstacles are. Then I might have a call or two, but most of my day that's work related is focused on producing content. So I might be making videos, I might be recording a podcast or two, and that's generally my focus in the morning. I have a peak time of between 10 and noon, so that's when I get most of that done. At noon is when I have my first meal. And most of the days that is a monster smoothie that I make myself that is, uh, I, I can't even measure the calories in it necessarily. But that is my first meal of the day and I will only eat in a six hour window. So I'm gonna be eating from 12 to six, uh, which encompasses dinner because I have young children. Uh, in the afternoon is when I'll take calls. That's when I'm gonna be doing coaching calls or sales calls if I'm doing those. But that's just when I found that I'm better on the phone. And that's sort of a typical day for me. Now at 2.30, all of that stops and I start the whole round again of school pickups where first I go to get my daughter, bring her back home and then I go back and I get the boys. And school pickup or school drop offs and stuff stops at around 4.15 at which point we're home. I'm not doing any more work at that point. The phone is put away and it's family time, usually helping the kids with their homework. Um, there's usually some iPad time that happens then and we're just sort of getting ready and preparing dinner. My wife cooks dinner every single day, which I'm very, very grateful for, and then I eat it. <laughs> and that all happens by six o'clock, at which point we're starting to get the kids ready for bed, whether it's bath or starting to, to wind down and finish homework or reading or whatever it might be. And generally speaking, about eight o'clock, all of the kids are asleep. And then it's back downstairs to start cleaning up a little bit, preparing some stuff for the next day and usually my wife and I get to watch a show or two before I completely pass out by 10 o'clock at night. And that is everything that I get done in a given day. So as you can probably tell from that description, the majority of my day is not focused on my business. And in fact, I do everything I can to minimize the amount of time I spend in my business so that I can focus more on my family. Now, that's my priority and there's no judgment either way. Your priority is whatever yours is. You may not have a family to focus on right now. Maybe the business is where you wanna focus. The key is that your time is your time. And if you don't set your schedule and you don't decide what you're gonna do with it, somebody else will do it for you. The founder mission is to help you create an ass-kicking business and help you learn straight from the mouths of world-class founders. Get your free printed edition of Founder Magazine featuring Sir Richard Branson. Just cover shipping and handling at founder.com forward slash Branson.